The Lord said, I think thoughts of peace and not of affliction. You will call upon me and I will answer you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you all. And you're welcome on this Wednesday morning as we come and we pray in our Mass. We pray for the repose of the souls of David and Delia Fitzgerald of Culmore. And we pray too for the repose soul of Margaret Marshall. And we remember, of course, all our deceased during this month of November and all whose names are placed here in the sanctuary area. We pray, I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God of mercy us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord of mercy. Christ of mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve you with constancy, the author of all that is good. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision, I, John, saw a door open in heaven and heard the same voice speaking to me, the voice like a trumpet saying, come up here, I will show you what is to come in the future. With that, the spirit possessed me and I saw a throne standing in heaven and the one who was sitting on the throne and the person sitting there looked like a diamond and a ruby. There was a rainbow encircling the throne, and this looked like an emerald. Round the throne in a circle were 24 thrones, and on them I saw 24 elders sitting, dressed in white robes with golden crowns on their heads. Flashes of lightning were coming from the throne, and the sound of peals of thunder. And in front of the throne there were seven flaming lamps burning, the seven spirits of God. Between the throne and myself was a sea that seemed to be made of glass like crystal. In the center, grouped round the throne itself, were four animals with many eyes in front and behind. The first animal was like a lion, the second like a bull, the third animal had a human face, and the fourth animal was like a flying eagle. Each of the four animals had six wings, and had eyes all the way around as well as inside. And day and night, they never stopped singing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God the Almighty. He was, he is, and he is to come. Every time the animals glorified and honor and gave thanks uh, to the one sitting on the throne who lives forever and ever, and 24 elders prostrated themselves before him to worship the one who lives forever and ever and threw down their crowns in front of the throne, saying, You are our Lord and our God. You are worthy of glory and honor and power because you made all the universe and it was only by your will that everything was made that exists. This is the word of the Lord response to the psalm. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God the Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Response. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God the Almighty. Oh, praise him with sound of trump trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Response, holy, holy, holy is the Lord God the Almighty. Or oh, praise him with resounding cymbals.
Praise him with clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Response. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God, the Almighty. The Gospel Acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world. Go out and bear fruit that will last. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the people were listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they imagined that the kingdom of God was going to show itself there and then. Accordingly, he said, a person of noble birth went to a distant country to be appointed king and afterwards returned. He summoned 10 of his servants and he gave them 10 pounds. Do business with these, he told them, until I get back. But his compatriots detested him and they sent a delegation to follow him with this message. We do not want this man to be our king. Now on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent for those servants to whom he had given the money to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, your one pound has brought in ten. Well done, my good servant, he replied. Since you proved yourself faithful in very small things, you shall have the government of ten cities. Then came the second and said, Sir, your one pound has made five. To, the, to this one he also said, and you should be in charge of five cities. Next came the other and said, Sir, here is your pound. I put it away safely in a piece of linen because I was afraid of you, for you are an exacting man. You pick up what you have not put down and reap what you have not sown. You wicked servant, he said, out of your own mouth I condemn you. So you knew I was an exacting man, picking up what I have not put down and reaping what I have not sown. Then why did you not put my money into the bank? On my return, I could have drawn it out with interest. And he said to those standing by, take the pound from him and give it to the one who was 10 pounds. And they said to him, but sir, he is 10. I tell you, I tell you to everyone who has will be given more from the one who is not even what they have will be taken away. But as for my enemies who did not want me for their king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. When he had said this, he went on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. We gather in prayer this day now and we Pray to the good Lord who gave his life after all the good he had done in, in, in the world for people and for their curing, for their faith. We pray that we will never disown the Lord in our own words, even in the greatest times of challenge. Lord, hear us. And Lord, we pray God's blessing this day on all our people and our families. Keep them all, Lord, close to you in prayer and under your protection always. Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick or who have their, their struggles right now for many reasons in life. May they know of a lot of support from others and from God himself. Lord, hear us. And for our world at this time, may everybody work together to try and bring about solutions to problems and to wars and to our planet. Lord, hear us. We take a moment to remember our private intentions. Lord, hear us. With love and respect, we pray for all of our deceased relatives and friends, remembering all whose names are here and all whom we remember during this special month. 
Today in our Mass, remembering Margaret Marshall and David and Delia Fitzgerald. May they and all of our loved ones rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Loving Father, look with favour on these petitions which we, your people, bring before you in faith and in confidence through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given, and many hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and this wine may we come to share in the divine nature of Christ to humble himself to share in our human nature. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine. Again, work of many hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Our God, we ask you to receive us in the beauty of the sacrifice we offer you with humble and with contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from each of my sins. We pray now that our sacrifice, that it may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, O Lord, we pray that those that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be here in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, and the many people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray now with confidence to God our Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world to mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world to mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Condemnation, but health of mind and body. This is the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy. You should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. Remember, O Most Gracious Virgin Mary, never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection implored thy help. Her sought the intercession was left in aid us, and inspired of this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before thee, a stand sinful and serf. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency graciously hearing us. For all of our deceased, we pray eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. And may their souls and the souls of all of the faithful departed, the mercy of God, rest in peace. We have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God be with you all, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord.